that's six years, six, ten, eleven. What a girl that died to die to sin once for all. But the life that he lives, he lives to God. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Beloved, did you hear the Bible verse? He died to sin once for all. Likewise, you also reckon, reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ. The work of Jesus on the cross is complete and perfect. He came so that we can see ourselves dead to sin and alive unto God just as he is. You are not on the side of judgment, curse or death. You are crossed, you have crossed the Jordan River and you are now on resurrection ground. Everyone, regardless of what they had or had not done, the Israelites crossed the river Jordan. This signifies that Jesus' finished work is for everyone who believes. No matter what you have done or what spiritual level of growth you are at. To walk in Christ's resurrection power, we have to believe the truth that death, sin, the curse, and all judgments are behind us. Jesus' resurrection was different from the raising of the dead that he performed. All the people who rose from the dead died again. Jesus rose to never die again. Jesus' resurrection was to Jesus' resurrection was not just being raised from the dead, but it was destroying death altogether. When Lazarus rose from the dead, he was still bound by grace. He was, Lazarus was still bound by grave clothes. However, when Jesus rose, his body transcended his grave close he conquered death and had a body that could transcend time and space appear and disappear the stone was rolled away not for jesus to leave the grave but for the disciples to look in and see that he is risen when jesus died jesus wept no sorry when when Lazarus died, Jesus wept because he knew a heavenly father's heart was not for man to die. Don't doubt God's heart for you to have eternal life and live a blessed life. Amen.